in this video I will show you how to set up MySQL database as I was requested by one of you under my videos in comments. But in this video I will not be using my web camera as I always do because my web camera is down or something is broken in my web camera. But I, I will get a new web camera and I will continue writing or I will try to restore this web camera in my for my future videos. So what is MySQL database? Like I mentioned before guys, I will start from the beginning so you can see. So open any folder and go to your local or oh, local disk and you will see or see the C as you see this path C column backslash and you are here in XAMPP like whenever you have installed XAMPP environment and if you click in you will find here MySQL as you see this folder so this means that MySQL server this is not MySQL it is like MySQL database server it's known as MySQL database server and it is software which is stored in this folder and it is already connected with your XAMPP environment and if you want to connect it or if you want to start this MySQL all you need to do is just open your XAMPP control panel I was, as I was showing you guys in my previous videos and so as I will show you this icon which I connected here to my taskbar at the very bottom and if you don't know where to find that icon as well we open any folder we go to local C and we go into XAMPP Okay, and here if you scroll down on the, uh, this is exam control, this is the one icon, and this will open you control panel, and like I said, if you want to connect it, just right click on icon which is on your taskbar at the very bottom, and just click this, pin this to taskbar, and it will always be there, because every time when you switch off your computer, you, and next time when you come back to your computer, you need to start your exam, uh, you, you need to start your Apache server if you want to st start working with your server and if you want to start working with MySQL you need to start MySQL database so you need to click this as well start here MySQL as you see I switch it off now and I start it now and it is started because this button shows stop and I start my ser server and this means whenever now I will open my browser and and go to localhost localhost okay I am getting redirected to these folders because as you remember guys I showed you how you can set up so that you can access now your sites directly whenever you go to localhost and then whenever you click on site where is your particular website located for example this my site which I showed you how to create if you click on it you will see that we will open that particular site straight away and it takes some time but you see this is where we set up WordPress in this case we set up WordPress in this my site and as you see at the top is my site and it's the same as would be going into index.php of the, my site and it still is my site so let's go back to localhost simply to localhost let's exit this site and to access your mysql database you need to access php my admin actually there are two ways how you can access your uh, mysql database one is by going to php php localhost forward forward slash php my admin and if you go to this pass php my admin this will open up and php my admin what it is it is a user interface and this is a user interface or gui also known known as gui graphical user interface for mysql and this is not mysql pretty much php my admin it is not nothing to do with mysql itself but it is created software or application which allows you to work with this data database so you don't have to use uh, CMD or command line or something like that like console as you see here is console uh, no that is not console but if you would go to start for example and you would write in CMD if, if some of you guys don't know what is CMD I will show you straight away so in your CMD you write in in search CMD and click enter and your command line for your Windows environment if you are working in Windows will open up in Linux it's a bit different but there is command line as well and it's called bash but anyway you normally before people before PHP my admin was created everybody everyone was using this to access 
MySQL and if you want me to create video on how to use bash or command line in Windows to access MySQL database I can show you that as well. As you know guys I am certified P uh, SQL MySQL database developer as well and I know yeah, ex everything about this particular database. So yes guys and PHP MyAdmin is just a graphical user interface which allows you to fast create databases, create users, uh, set up databases and so on and so forth. And if you go in here as you see now we already have set up my SQL environment. If you want to create a database you just click into databases and here you can see all databases and you can by writing in a database name you just click this button create and it will create you a new database. And if you don't know my SQL or SQL language as at all like or MySQL don't bother about these char sets or collations because this is pretty much to do with languages and so on but in most cases this if you will leave it blank it will and, and you are using English language you will be good to go. Here are different correlations for different databases. If you want I can talk about those as well but this is not so important if you are just starting out with MySQL. And whenever you create a database for example yes and you don't create a user as you see here are user accounts and I will show you in my next videos how to create database, how to add users, how to create user passwords and so on, then you don't have any password. And to access that particular database you can use simply root without password. And username will be root and it will not have any password. For example, let's create test database test. Okay, I will call it simply test db. Click button create. And now on the left hand side you can see this that's not test. Don't mix it up. Sorry, I, I should actually get a better name for this database as I have there one test as you see test db if you go here on home icon and you click in databases here as well at the very bottom you see test db with coalition latin one underscore swedish underscore ci and as you see yes guys this is database we just created if we click on that database you see there is nothing in it and it's straight away prompts you to create tables within that database. If you would be working for example with some CMS systems like uh, WordPress or Drupal or Joomla or Magento and so on and so forth, all of them, I have been working with all of them, then you don't need to create any tables here. You All you need to do is come here, create the database, create user for the database because your database must be secured. Usually if you if I am working for example on my local machine many people are afraid to show their local environment like uh, passwords and so on and so forth. This is foolish guys. It doesn't really matter. I can show you any passwords which I'm working here on this uh, my local machine because it unless you know my IP address you can access my 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 local environment and start digging in it and this information is not sense so sensitive and so on and so forth guys so you can easily work with no worries without any users to make your life easier while you are developing on your machine if you are working on your machine at your home like we have this XAMPP environment and that is why this environment is made for in the first place so so yes guys in next video if you are interested I will show you further on how to create database and how to add any user to your database and if you have any particular questions just ask them but give, be more detailed because I'm answering this particular uh, question uh, how to create um, or set up MySQL in XAMPP. So this is how you set up because this is pretty much set up. This is without MySQL is set up and it's ready to go. Create tables, create uh, databases and just connect it from whatever application you are using, whether it's a Java application, whether it's a PHP or however I will be creating PDO, PHP connection as well if just asking comments and if you found this video useful, leave a like, share this video, please subscribe to my channel and see you in my other videos. Thank <laughs> you.